good afternoon and good evening beautiful people of the internet we are not home in case you can tell this is not where you and I's home I'm gonna explain where we are in a second but first look at this we travel squad squad gang gang look at this supplement store that has followed us we got the cars we got the creatine we got the bca or greens bcaa's uncut bars we got the bcaa's we got some protein some shaker cups we've got it all we travel heavy we're going to the gym right now i'm bringing my entire life with me i'm excited this is somewhere i haven't been in a long time and i'm excited to bring you guys along with me and i'm excited to tell you where i am and why i'm here and what i'm doing okay, let's go. this look familiar to any of you guys? If you've been with the channel for more than like six months, you'll remember this place. We are in Vancouver, baby. That's the news. So we have officially come to Vancouver for the entirety of the Open and quarterfinals, which is super exciting. I'm gonna tell you lots more about what we're planning to do as we go along, but we are gonna be here for the next like five weeks. This is where we were living before we moved to Halifax and there's lots of fun things to do out here. So we are back for the completion and the competing in both series of this competition. We had an insane time getting here. Our travel day coming, we were supposed to leave Halifax at 5 a.m. on Sunday. Our flight got delayed from 5 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. We didn't leave Halifax until the time we were supposed to arrive in Vancouver, nine and a half hours sitting at the airport, and then another nine and a half hour travel day, which was just an absolute pleasure. So that's why you haven't seen anything from me in the last like two, three days because, well, I think I released one video I shot in hell. Anyway, you get my point. It was a couple days of quietness on here because I was just absolutely in one for the last two days. But we're good, we slept, we're feeling better, and we're gonna train today. We have the Open coming up today, and I'm recording this is Tuesday. You can be seeing this Wednesday. We're one day, two days away, one training day away from the Open. I think my plan is, because I obviously I trained Friday, but then Saturday I took off because we were getting ready to come. Sunday we traveled, and then yesterday I was just an absolute mess of a human being, so I didn't train at all. So today is the first training day back in three days, which is like not ideal prep, but we're gonna get in a good day of training today. I think the plan will be to take tomorrow pretty easy and just kind of hit something to get moving. And then I think we're actually gonna be doing the open workout on Thursday. So that's the plan. Speaking of flashbacks, look who we have here. Woohoo! This, is, this is like old days, man. This is like such throwbacks, back, especially like, being back here at sea level. Yeah, Man. two years ago. We were just reminiscing because Emily was telling me about how uh, awesome she felt after doing three competitions in three weeks this year. Oh, man. <laughs> and we're just, in three weeks. And we were talking about how when we first linked up, she was supposed to do the same thing. I know, I guess I felt like I didn't get to do it, so. Yeah. You, got, you had to get it in this year. At the time, I was like, well, I couldn't choose. And yeah. I was like, oh, I'll just do them all. Like, whatever. Yeah. When you're hot, you're hot. You just got to go, yes. right? And well, then and I mean, I feel like at your level, it's like you can just cash a check just by showing up for the most part. So you might as well, you know? Yeah, or get at a least free get trip. it paid for. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, as I say, by the time the third came around, Wadapalooza, yeah. I was like... Yeah. Have you been taking it? For, have you been taking it pretty easy since the competitions? No, I took a week off after Waterpalooza. Like, okay. Straight. Yeah, yeah. You went it. on vacation, right, to Aruba? Went on vacation, Bahamas actually. But, oh, Bahamas. Okay. And then came back straight into training and yeah, been building up ever since, and I feel a lot better now. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, you like working out. What else is new, man? This has been like what six months since we left, something like that. It was before the games. I don't know, I haven't seen you. I feel like the last time I saw you was at the games. Yeah, probably. Yeah, when you were telling me about your food poisoning incident. Yeah. How funny was, was it? Like, like, I spent all night puking. How funny was it like five months later, there was like that morning chalk up article yeah. and then we all made videos about it and it was just like, all of a sudden it came out. Yeah, that was weird. I knew they were planning on doing a story, but yeah. I wasn't worried about it, whatever. Do you think they're still gonna make you swim in it? I would say yes until Dave's gone. Now I'm like, probably not. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Not to point fingers or anything, but that's what everyone else is saying too. <laughs> I mean, whatever. What are you doing today? I'm, I'm honestly not worried. Like, I just feel like I was unlucky enough for it to happen to me once. Yeah. It's not gonna happen again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No way. What are you doing today? Um, bunch of stuff. 
Yeah, as per usual. Is it like very open prep focused or you're not caring about the open at all? No, no. not at all. Not at all. I'm on like a pretty tough squat cycle. <laughs> what else is new, right? Yeah, I know. Sorry about <laughs> life. And, um, and yeah, just training's like full on. Yeah. Like no taper whatsoever for the open. Just gonna go through it. Yeah. Hit it once. Check a box. Just, yeah, in my training day. Mm -hmm. I feel like you do all the things in training that if I was to like actually take CrossFit seriously, I would have to do because you're always on an intense squat cycle and I never see you running. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you and I are both very good at the similar things. <laughs> Somebody told me like, oh, you should do like, everyone's doing their, like Avery Games athletes doing yeah. like their programming. Oh, follow what I follow kind of thing. And I'm just, yeah. but they'd be like, Emily, like you never run. You literally never run. Yeah. And then you go and win running events yes. at the games. Yeah. I'll be like, like happens. But, you know, it's just, everyone's different. It's your makeup, what, what yeah, you're good yeah. at and what you're not, right? Yeah. Remember when it was 6 a.m. in your garage and you hadn't warmed up at all and you started doing these with 10 pound plates in your hand? Oh yeah, box jumps with like. <laughs> that was the scariest thing I think I've ever filmed. And that was I like did. the first time we ever met. We were five minutes in and I thought I was gonna film you dying on camera and that was gonna be it. That was gonna be our first interaction. I pretty sure I did some assault bike sprints right away. Oh at like yeah. Five thirty. I then. guess so. Yeah, yeah. Psycho and stuff. You're a unique breed, Em. You're a unique breed. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was just saying, Em. Motivation is. I mean, motivation is high, but body is just feeling beat. But we're starting with a nice little gymnastics EMOM, four bar muscle ups, four one strict second. handstand push ups, one minute recovery burpee. It's supposed to be a burpee every three seconds. It's pretty easy. I mean, I think the programming is very much tapering now because we do have the open this week. And like personally, I am tapering it myself. Like I'm not gonna be doing too crazy much, especially today. I think I kind of just wanna get the body moving. Honestly, I might do this first. There's a 12 minute assault bike, 10 calorie every minute. Maybe that's how we'll start. plane rides just makes you feel like sore like it just makes my body like I haven't done anything for 72 hours like no fitness I went golfing yesterday and that's it but I'm incredibly sore anyway one done I've got a question for you you're not trying like all games athletes the open doesn't matter to you so you're not gonna try super hard. Is it hard to not be competitive though? And like not want to do really well? Let me break after cardio lifting, holy. That's okay. So what was the question? The open doesn't matter for you because right. you're a games athlete, but you're a competitive person. Is yeah. it hard for you to take a lower place than you know you could get if you tried harder? Mentally? Obviously it doesn't I matter. I think a little. But, yeah. Cause you're like, oh, I know I'm up here, but like. Yeah. But I mean. It doesn't matter, like, yeah. everyone forgets about the open the minute quarterfinals starts. Yeah. Forget about quarterfinals and semi like, yeah. you just gotta make it through the, the hoops, jump through the hoops. I think it's a Nobody thing. Nobody cares, Tia doesn't win the open. No. She wins the games, that's what matters. I 100% I agree. But I think people don't understand too, like, uh, it, it can be tough mentally, you know? Like, just that, those weeks, like, you're trying to stay focused on your goal, but you're a competitive person, you're, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, you see names above you and you you're You like, can't oh. help it, you're like, I'm fitter than those people probably, you yeah. know? But, yeah, you just have to know. I think. Yeah, it's like extra mental toughness to know. It's that. It's like confidence that you need to have, yeah. and it's like maturity. I think. Yes. You're a mature athlete mature, now. I'm a mature athlete. This is gonna be what your third time officially qualifying. Should be your fourth if it wasn't yeah, for that. Yeah, qualified three yeah. already. Yeah. Only went to two. Yeah. Right. So this will be my fourth qualification. Exciting. Yeah. Exciting, exciting, exciting. We're gonna do a little workout together because her workout looks more fun than mine. Mine was just like an EMOM. Hers is an actual workout. So we're gonna do it together. I think it's three rounds, four rounds? Four rounds. 21 Kowski, 15 bar facing burpee, nine bar muscle up with some rest, I think. Okay, so because I'm such a nice guy, and when I train with people who are way fitter than me, I like to try to be of service to them as much as possible. 
So I'm gonna be. Well, oh, you're you, doing me a favor. Yeah, oh. I'm doing you a favor. I'm gonna be. A, I'm gonna be a pace bunny here. AKA, I'm gonna take the workout a little bit easier so that I can maybe get in front of Emma a little bit. The workout is supposed to be four rounds, 21 cows for the girls, 27 cows for the guys on the ski, but we only have one skier. So I'm gonna bike. I'm still gonna do the 27, but I'm gonna bike. So I should get off a little further ahead because she's gonna smoke me on the other stuff. And so that way it's a little bit of like a chasing your, a rabbit carrot situation. That's the workout. <gasps> Remember when we used to be able to work out out here? We will be in a month. Yeah, I'll still be here in a month. Maybe it'll be warm enough. How was that for you? It was good. The I find the burpee bar muscle up combo is like very pressy. Yeah. Like it gets your tricep. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually what I really like. That workout turned really quickly into me just practicing bar muscle up center fatigue. Yeah. Which was good. And like it's definitely a strength for me, but the one time bar muscle ups usually get hard is in the chest if they were like pressing mm. movements. But that felt great. Like, I think the pace I was able to kind of take the burpees and like, I think that was one of the big differences is like, I just can't push the burpees on that. Like I just have to go smooth, but I was able to keep the bar muscle some broken the whole way. Whereas I'm sure you were pushing the pace on the burpees a little bit, eh? Yeah, I mean, for me, the bar muscle, they have to be broken. Yeah. Like you're wasting too much time if yeah. you're coming down. Yeah. And then you, yeah, you have to push the burpees. So yeah. That's... Yeah, that was cool. That was a cool one to do together because like, I feel like, that was definitely a strength-ish workout for me compared to like something else we could have done together. So it's cool, like, I don't know. It beat me by a lot, but it wasn't like that crazy. I feel okay well, about I mean... that. She's being mean right now. <laughs> I'm proud I of myself, you okay? Three rounds. You thought I, I quit. I the camera, I was like, oh, he's checking out. Cause you walked over there. I was like, I think he thinks he's done. That was the round I almost beat you in. I only- the Third you... round you did well, yeah. No, 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 the fourth round. You got 15, I got 13. Okay. Well, the last one did you win. No, no, that was the round before you said no rep. Yeah, that was the third round. Yeah, you did well. You were ahead coming off the bike. I know. I sprinted. Yeah, it's good. That was a good pacing one too because it was like the first one. This is what I wanted to say on camera. Was the first one it felt like I sandbagged. No, 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 no. The the opposite. The first one it was like open workout. It came out too hot, and I was like, uh oh. So I was able to calm myself down in the second one, which was much slower. Pick it up a bit for the third one and go hard in the last one. I felt pretty good. I'm glad I did that instead of my emo. More fun? This is like so weird trying to talk with the sun right in both our eyes. I know. Can't see a thing. But we're hiding from a dog. Yeah, that dog's barking. Nice guy though. Oh. Go ahead. Well, just going on what you were saying, like, I think it's ingrained in especially like high level CrossFit. It's like more, 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 more yeah. and better. And you have to do more. And like, yeah. if I don't feel like totally exhausted and like dragging my feet walking out of the gym, like, did I do enough? Did I work hard enough? And yeah. I think, everyone kind of struggles with that yes. but like again what i was saying before with like maturity mm -hmm. on the leaderboard it's mm -hmm. maturity like i'm realizing this sometimes yeah. less is more yep. and you can't you can't like pretend you're 19 anymore no totally totally well thank you about that like we were i think it came up because i had mentioned to M. I was like i'm doing significantly more volume now or sorry less volume now than i was when we were training together when i was here before and i'm the fittest i've ever been by a long shot and that's 
because I've been focusing so much more on intensity. And like for me, the fitness I've ever been in, a lo in a, is I can perform better in a workout. Like mm -hmm. I could, I can do a workout more intensity, get a better score, which is going to correlate probably into a better open finish, a better quarterfinal finish, because that's me as an athlete. And I've unlocked that by, like I was saying to her, going through all of DECA and only picking one Metcon, one accessory, and maybe one strength a day, and that's it. And then doing 20, 30 minutes of mobility five times a week, and that's it. And I've gotten fitter from doing less, which is like, it's a weird concept for sure. Yeah, but I think you have to pick, like for me, it's like, I don't need to do so much endurance. I need yeah. to do like more intense, yeah. like more power, more yeah. strength. Like you have to pick what you're, and then put all your energy into that. Exactly. And that's gonna make you the better athlete. Yeah, like, exactly. You don't need to do what you're really good at all the time. You no. do still, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. not. Yep. And I think that only works if you build the base of the volume though. Yeah. You just can't go in and be like, oh, I just do a few things. Like yeah. you have to have the years behind. Yes, the absolutely. Volume. Well, yeah, and I like, it's been a journey. Like I've been doing, when did you start CrossFit? 2014, 15. Yeah, so I've been doing CrossFit two years longer than M. And we are just saying that we both have just kind of like realized over the years exactly that. It's just like, it's about being smart and like attacking things with like intent and purpose and not just doing it to mm -hmm. check a box. And like and I when- I still struggle with it. Like, well, and that's the thing is there's such a difference between my level like open quarterfinal athlete and your level games athlete and even semi-final athlete there's a level in between us still of like athletes who get to semi-finals and not to games and like so the fact that me at my level and you at your level are saying the same thing it's like i feel like it's something that volume got so sexy when rich was really big everyone wanted to do volume yeah, volume 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 yeah. but i feel like even with like athletes like fraser and stuff like that like you start to see the value in like intensity and smart intensity and like attacking weaknesses and like you don't need to do your strengths more than like maybe once a week like if that you know yeah. just to like keep them there so that's and another reason why i'll hop in on workouts like, like that you knowing yourself as an athlete and your coach knowing what yeah. kind of an athlete you are and then, yeah yeah this wind sucks let's go back inside <gasps> Nothing like another 20 minute workout after a 20 minute workout, eh? Well, I wouldn't count that first one. That was intermittently. I mean, we only had six, I guess it was 14 minutes of work, six minutes of rest. That rest was yeah, like work Yeah, rest though. built in. Anything, oh, yeah. A minute is like nothing. No, A minute and a half was a bit better, but. This? I looked, I legit wrote down my score, took a breath, looked at the clock, and we were 42 seconds in. Basically, like, yeah, ready to go again. I know, it's super fun. Well, you will definitely be doing this one by yourself. I'm sorry. I wake up, flex some down that check. No drip this. Tell him run it up. No sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first die stretch. Tell him run it up. I wake up, flex some down that check. No drip this. Tell him run it up. No sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first I stretch, tell them run it Now that that tan through my hands, I'm by my lonely Turn to a savage, now my baby wants to hold me I love my fans, don't need no friends, I got my homies Thought I could trust you, I find out you tried to zone me I'm number one up on that court, I'm Nick McGrady The first one in, the last one out, can't call me lazy Put in my hours, send the invoice, and they pay me I feel like I haven't heard this story before, so I don't know if they have either, go. Hey, unfortunately nobody caught it on video. But legit, like, both my feet, I don't know if I was just tired and I let loose like in a workout like, at Wadapalooza or in like in warm up? Workout. Wow, you just bailed backwards. Like probably the third round. Yeah, it was at like 15 and bailed right when I, right on my C spun and just like crumbled on the floor. And then my judge was like, are you okay? And I was like a little bit stunned. And then I had to like rush to get back on. And if there's one thing you are, it's durable. So and it's not the, not the worst person for it to have to do, I guess. Yeah, there was a couple accidents in that workout, actually. Somebody flipped their pig on me. What? Yeah. Wasn't that thing like 600 pounds? Yeah. But it was like on my pig. Yeah. So I just had to like hold mine and like... 1,200 pounds of pig all of a sudden just dropped on you? That's super fun. It was like, yeah, a lot of mishaps. I can, I can understand that. Lovely. Almost died. So don't fall out this time. Yeah, I don't, I've never done that in my life. <laughs> it's so weird. Like how to both... I don't know. Just, just yeah, uh, not anxiety. What's the other? What's the opposite of anxiety? Really excited. Oh, adrenaline. Yeah. That's the word I was looking for. Too, Too much, much adrenaline. adrenaline. Yeah, yeah, just shot you right out of the GHD. Anyway. 
that's all the training for your boy. I just finished a little bit of uh, mobility work. I'll put it on the screen right now, actually. This is pretty cool. Wadproof with the new Bionic. They have like targeted mobility. So like for the open, well for any workout, but for the open workouts especially, you can literally input every single movement that's gonna be there and they'll give you like a pre-mobility. So like how to warm up for it, which is really neat. Or if you want to recover for it or whatever, you can just put in the movements that you did and you're gonna do and it'll customize a mobility plan based off your like bionic weaknesses, but then also like all the movements, which is super cool. But anyway, finish that. I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit. I'm gonna hang out with them. I gotta do some editing computer work, get you guys up a video. I'd take that, I'd sacrifice the no rowing quarters. <laughs> 5K straight, what about a marathon row? I feel like that'd be right up your alley. I like rowing, so whatever. I know you do, I know you do. The more rowing the better. So we're gonna see your home gym I've soon? I've been doing a lot of row intervals in the home gym. Yeah? Yeah. I'm excited like, to see it. Like like, that in a salt bike. Is it gonna be as cool as your parking garage gym though? Cause I know people on the channel loved your parking garage gym when we I know, first that introduced that. that was cool that. because it was like just so hard ass. Yeah. This is more bougie. This is a little Now more, you've gotten, you've gotten bougie. This is more soft. This it's is, a little warmer. This is 30 year old M versus there's, 29 year old yeah. M. There's That's no, gonna be the difference. There's, no, there's still no heat. Mm, so right. stay hard, but. Well stay tuned for that. Home gym tour. I'm excited. <laughs> Have fun. All right, this is a look right here. Hitting the Uber, headed home. Day one of training. What the, is, going, is this door closed? Oh. Well, unlock it, okay? <laughs> Trying to break down the door here. Day one of Vancouver training done. Feeling good. I was telling him I was nervous that I was gonna like hit a wall in training today and just feel like an absolute POS from taking three days off. <laughs> But I felt surprisingly good, I felt surprisingly strong. So yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, fam. The next one will be the open, my first attempt at 21, 22.1. So that's exciting. So yeah, stay tuned for that. We'll see you then. Thank you, man.